looking for a lift? It's the Christian Science Daily Lift. Today we have Susan Booth Max Snipes. She's a Christian Science practitioner and teacher from Stockton Springs, Maine. In the flyleaf of my mother's Bible is a sentence she'd written. There's no me to do right. There's no me to do wrong. There's just God and his faultless idea. Mary Baker Eddy defined mind in Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures as the only I or us. I like to think of God as the subject of the sentence and God's spiritual creation, including each one of us, as more like the verb, adjective, or adverb of this one I or us. These ideas helped me when my teenage daughter called in tears from camp. Her friends were doing something dangerous, and she asked them to stop. When they didn't listen, she told her counselor, who brought the camp director, to talk to the girls. This stopped the activity. But after that, the cabin mates didn't speak to my daughter. I assured her that she'd done the right thing and said I would pray with her. But as I prayed, I struggled with how proud I was of my daughter for doing the right thing and that these other girls were not so good. I thought about that sentence in my mom's Bible and realized I had to be willing to give up personal good and personal evil to see God's faultless idea we all are. It took almost an hour to wrestle down the desire to hang on to personal good, but when I yielded to this truth, a beautiful peace came over me. Just then the phone rang, and my daughter's cheerful voice said, We're all talking again. At the gratitude campfire, one of the girls said, without referring to the specific instance, I'm grateful to be in a place where, when you are doing something wrong, you are loved enough to be helped to stop doing it. God spoke to everyone about their faultless being, and it speaks to every one of us, too. This podcast is produced by the First Church of Christ Scientist in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Copyright 2022.